Right, everyone. Just going to do a couple more projects. And I'm using cladium for modelling pottery and flowers. And hopefully it hasn't dried up on me. No, it seems to be all right. I won't be needing much. Yeah, that's fine. And I'll put it in a sealed bag. So, let me just pop that back in there. We're only going to be using small bits. What I've got are these uh, acorn cups. Some of them with, with the acorns in. But I'm going to want to try and cut them out. Now, for those of you who bought these, uh, we were selling these not long ago. See? Now, I'm going to keep that wire on because that's going to be good. I'm going to keep that in as well. Yeah, that'll be good, that. And it's still on the stick, which is great. Okay, hmm. Because these, what I'm going to make, and it's just... Let me just find something that's good enough to go over that. Now, this this will do. See this? It's the right shape. And what I'm going to do is press that on and press that down. Like that. Now these don't have to be perfect. At all. So... We're just going to make little mushrooms. I've also got this one that will make a smaller one. It's just a bead on a bit of wire. So if you haven't got anything that you, you know, you think you need, just make something. And we can get that shape. Pop that off. Uh, I'm going to make another one of those, I think. Yeah. I can even do... Um, so I don't know if I've got... Oh, yes, I have. Let me just see. I've got a smaller teardrop here. See, it's smaller. So I make a baby one. And if, because I'm going to wet my finger and smooth the clay out, like that, and they are not perfect shapes, far from it. Make a small, just wet your finger and smooth the clay out. Like that. And then we can take that off. Like I say, they're not supposed to be perfect at all. But I'm going to make a little family of them on here. So now what I need is a little bit more clay. Because we do have to make the stalks. And I think all you do with that, soften it up in your hands. Like that. Now, I've got a little bit of water here. And I'm just going to move this out of the way and I'm just going to put the water just a touch in there. You only need a little bit. Like that. Dab your finger and wet the clay. Uh, and then what you're going to do, I think we need that one a little bit thinner. And then we just attach 
that like that. Now, I do need to put a bit of wire in there. So what I've got my wire here. Let me see my wire. I don't want them too tall. So I'm going to cut a couple that size. It's already got one wire and one that size. And I'm just going to straighten this out a little bit. Well, they don't have to be straight. That's the whole point of them. But this one's going to be. And we push that wire through the stalk like that. And then looks like a willy. <laughs> Sorry. Just looks like a willy. <laughs> oh dear, I'm bad. <laughs> I will put it to dry. Um, <laughs> sorry. I know I'm bad. Well, <laughs> that's what it looks like. <laughs> Oh, dear me, I'm getting worse as I get older. Right, so like I say, we'll push that in. That does have to move. Oops! Now, that was my fault. So, just wet that end. Pop that on. Sorry. <laughs> I know I'm bad. We don't care. <laughs> this one I'm actually going to push in to the um, clay because it is, um, I've made a shape with it. And I just want to s make sure we smooth that out <laughs> I'm going to pop that one on there I'm going to try and fix that. Maybe I should have put the uh, the wire on first. Hang on, let me see if I can glue this on. Because we're going to have a little bit of... Um, That's it. Now what I'm going to do before this sets, let me just take this one off again. I'm just going to bring this one out. Like that. Pop that one back in. I don't like that one in there like that. I'm going to move that over like that. They can rip. I mean, mushrooms and toadstools do rip. Like that. And I think what I'll do is, let me just take this one out again. We can redo that, it's no problem. And I can get the wire in. Like 
which is what I should have done. And then we can break that off, put some water on there, smooth it out again. Like that, that's it. And I'm going to push this out a little bit. Let's pop a little bit of water in there. Like that. So that's going to be a little family of mushrooms and as you can see they're not hard to do but then you've got to put them somewhere <laughs> to dry so I'm going to leave mine here next to me so let's see if we can do some more I want another one of those now this one um, I've actually done as like a, a an insect house and I've just glued that together because when I put the hole in it um, it's split, so I've glued it back together. And then that we will put a wire of some sort into there. Now I'm just going to try, without stabbing myself, to add a bit of wire in here. Yeah, I think we can do that. How much have I got? Yeah, that's plenty. So I've got my little bit of wire here. And what I'm going to do with it is to kind of like bend it like that. I really need this to stay in here. See, like that. Just see if I can force that down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's it, done. So we need to put the house like that. Now, I need to put this onto a block, which I've got here. I'm gonna, no, I've got a different wooden disc. No, do I need that one? No, I think the weight of it is going to need... A, pro, uh, a decent wooden one so I'm just going to and I can colour all of this later right right so we're doing that now to start with I'm going to glue this in And hope it holds like that. Yeah, like that. Wait, like that. Now, these are, I mean, if you like doing fairy trees and fairy houses and fairy building, you know, anything fairy, it's uh, fun. It is, it's just fun. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to build that around there, and keep that upright. And flatten that out like it's all one. Like that. I'm going to use this one that's not before it hardens. No, it's gone too hard. Never mind, we'll do use this one. I'm just going to fold that around it. And then before I do any more, 
I'm going to take another piece of wire. Let me just bend this one a different way. Take another piece of plaster, uh, clay, and I'm going to add that that way into there. To do that, break it off and just add it. Now I've got another one of those here and I'm going to try and do this without breaking it. Let's see if I can do it. Um, let me clip this bit off. It's like glue bits on it. So <coughs> You see like that I just I just don't really want to break it just trying to make it into one hole that's it see like that so it looks like a little insect house and then we have to do this again with this side to do too much and break that. Uh, pliers. So what I want to do is to break that like that. Doesn't matter about any glue getting on it. Get a little bit more clay. Oh, there we are. I've got it here. Like that. And I just dip my finger in and water this down and help it all. Now, I don't want it straight because it's got to look like a trunk of some sort. So I'm going to do it so it's facing this way, but I need to get the best angle of that. Yep, I like that. So we're just going to turn that off. Oh, that's great. So if you can see what I've done. Now that should be able to come off. Yep. Like that. And we just blend that in. Like that and then when we come to paint it and decorate it it's going to be ready I need that to turn around like that there we go yeah I like that it will bring it forward a little bit that's it. And that can fit in a, you know, I think we might do that one on top. I'm just going to try something. It might not work, but it might do. And if it does, I'll be pleased as punch. <laughs> if it doesn't, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, look, I've spilt my water. Oh, divvy woman. Divi divi divi. Never mind. Right. Just got to straighten this up a little bit. Though I don't want it too straight. Now we've got to measure that. Yeah, it's going to have to hang about there. So what I'm going to do is 
turn this into a circle here and then grab that and I'm going to hold that and twist it like that see and it's all different shapes I'm going to put that in there like that and then I'm going to glue this onto there like that oh perfect and now we need to do do you know what I could do with a bird's nest, couldn't I? Hang on. I'm going to make one. I'm just going to make myself a bird's nest. So we've got some of this. By the time it's coloured and sorted, I've got to have a filling in there. We can do that. Hope you watch. Sorry, I hope you're watching this. We're just making a bird's nest. If you're just joining us, yep. Yeah. And you know what? Somewhere, I have a cute little bird that will just. Pop on there. Like that. Alright, just going to make sure he's uh, glued in. Like that. Again, just trim off all your bits. He's fine there. And this will be great tomorrow to paint and sort out. Uh, I need some little insects here. Well, what I've got was these wings. See? So... What I'm going to do is prepare a little bit of clay. They've got to be tiny. That's coming out of there. Or one going in it. Tiny little body. Like that. I'm going to do them like that. And then we'll have to let these dry so I can paint them. Like that. Mummy and three babies. <laughs> and 
Oh, I think we need to do uh, a few ladybirds as well. So, we're just going to wrap those. That's going to be that. We'll make three. One, two, and a little one. Three tomorrow, and I can paint those. And uh, that's it. That's all I'm doing tonight. Come back for part two tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.